Over countless millennia of human history, much has been remembered, but even more has been forgotten to the unforgiving relentlessness of time. So today, let's go back and look at the top five forgotten moments in history. Coming in at number five is Popeye's stint as the President of the United States. Contrary to popular belief, Popeye has actually held office for a small period of 47 consecutive years. In 1972, he challenged Richard Nixon to a spinach eat-off, and since Nixon lost, he was forced to resign immediately, and Popeye has been president ever since. Neat! Next up at number four is the long-forgotten space race. While many believe the motive behind the space race was to land on the moon, the real motive was to see who could chuck TVs into space the farthest and fastest. US and Russia kept on hurling these big old TVs for years, until one day, a kid named Neil Armstrong was playing with his buddies on their play spaceship when one of the TVs accidentally collided with them mid-air and hurled them into space, where they landed on the moon. Who knew? What are the chances of that? At number three, we have the long forgotten invention of inhaling cream. During the beginning years of Popeye's presidency, he enacted his first executive order, and that was to make a cream that could suck up all the extra cream that he couldn't eat after one sitting. Unfortunately, people kept putting the cans in their mouths and accidentally sucking their tongues out, so it had to be outlawed. One of the many tragedies of Popeye's tyrannical dictatorship. I swallowed the fuck a queen out of my mouth with the inhaling queen, but instead it sucked my tongue out, so now I can barely speak. It's, it's quite a tragedy. Up next, at number two, is the falsely remembered yet intensely epic duel between Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr. While many people think that Hamilton and Burr were humans fighting for honor, they were actually two squirrel-human hybrids fighting over their bodacious nut supply. The intense bout lasted for about seven days until they both decided to put aside their differences and have sex on the spot. And finally, at number one, the birth of mathematics. Most people would tell you that math was birthed by the Pythagoreans in ancient Greece, but that couldn't be farther from the truth. In actuality, math was birthed when our almighty King Popeye, the sailor, was curious if he put two spinach cans together, what would he get? When completed, he then discovered that they combined into one, creating the iconic equation 1 plus 1 equals 1. This is so cool! Anyways guys, thanks for watching my new video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and beg at the altar so Popeye doesn't suck you up with his inhaling cream fingers. Later guys, see you in the next one.